my curls is popping my face is popping ain't no breakouts honey ain't nothing still on my joint today I don't know why I'm so hot because I literally just got home from work. Changed my clothes. I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. It is, what is, I don't even know what today. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Oh, I did not even vlog Monday or Tuesday. It has been such a busy week for me. Like, I don't even know, man. Oh my God. It's been so busy. But I've had a fun week at school so far. So Monday, I did, what did I do Monday? I pretty much just studied, oh, oh, I got to practice acrylic in school on the little circles, the little dots. I don't, it's literally a piece of paper with little circles on it and you have to try to get your monomer and acrylic ratio on point so that the little beads of acrylic stay in the circles. So that was fun. I did that Monday and on Tuesday I did a couple pedicures. I did three pedicures, one on a client that I didn't know, and one on my daughter, Muffin. Hey, Muffin, if you're watching. And one on my grandma. I know my grandma ain't watching, but hey, grandma. Gram. <laughs> so I did two pedicures on family and then one on a random person. And that was fun. That was fun. Um, I did not go to school today. So Wednesday is my gym day, my official no school day. Yeah. My official school day. So what I'm doing now is just prepping my hair for the gym. And this is exactly how I prep my hair for bed. Like I'm so simple. I don't do anything special. I literally twist, put one of the flexi rods in, and then I do the same thing to the other side. I'm so boring, guys. Like, <laughs> And when I get up in the morning, there's no fun thing like if I was to ever do a get ready with me you guys would be so bored because I literally take the rollers out and finger comb my hair like that put some Carmex on my lips and I'm out <laughs> oh my goodness yep that's it that's my life I've been playing hooky from the gym like all week so far I mean I did go bike riding with Tina on Sunday so <clears throat> I haven't been actually, I haven't been completely horrible and lazy, but you know what? That school life, when you're in school and you don't know how to balance your school, your home, your work life, that's when you, you kind of like fall off. And I'm going to, I'm going to insert my fat girl pictures because y'all are probably like, girl, calm down. It's not that big of a deal, but I used to be like obese. Um, and I just don't want to get back to that place. So I'm trying, oh Lord, I'm trying to, you know, just stick to everything that I did to help me lose the weight. I lost 50 pounds and, you know, it's been a couple years. It's been a while since I've lost the 50 pounds. And I'm just trying to keep off the weight and going to school a lot of times takes up the time that I would be in the gym. So I just have to balance my stuff out and my workout and my studying out a little bit better. So yeah, this is the look. This is me at bedtime and, and it gets worse. It gets worse. I then take this little sack. <laughs> Listen, I got a story for y'all. One time I was at the gym and I always wear the sack to the gym. I have like three of them. So I just wear them and wash them and just wear them. So anyway, um, especially when I have like long braids. So one time I was at the gym and this girl, she used to always say hi to me. And I just, you know, say hi. Well, one time I was at the gym and she was like, hey, you look different. But I know you're still that girl that I see in the morning. And I was like, yeah. She was like, you're the girl that wears that sack on her head. And I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so she was like. What is that sack for? And I said, it just holds my braids in. Because I was going to the gym before work and I didn't want my hair to be messed up. So I just wear my sack. I, it's not even a sack, but I just call it a sack now because she called it a sack. Now I just consider this a damn sack. I want to put this damn sack on my head and go to the gym and hopefully I don't see her. But <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. 
it's perfect if you have braids because the braids kind of just sit in there. But when you don't have braids, it keeps the roller sets intact, y'all. It keeps these rollers intact so they don't fall off. And then I just kind of twist this part here and then I just tuck it in like that. Now off to the gym we go. All right, now Cruz, I'm in the car and I'm on the way to the gym. I plan to do some cardio and maybe some legs. You know, I gotta get these legs right, boo. <laughs> and then when I get home, I have to study. I have to study, like, so we'll see how that goes. I will definitely go through the book with you guys. I will um, review chapter one and then definitely I will review chapter two. You know what I think is so cool? That you guys are just as nerdy as I am. I love it. I love it. Okay. So a lot of you have either left a comment below my vlog or, ooh, the parking lot is empty. I love it. Um, so either left a comment under my blog or um, went to my IG or my um, Facebook and left messages there. And just said, you know, you're in school too or thinking of going to school. You bought the book. You're going to start to read and study. And I think that is so dope. Like you guys have actually went out and got the book before you sign up for class, which is smart. Super duper smart. That way when you're in class, it's going to be like boom, boom, boom. I already know this. <laughs> What's up now, crew? I'm leaving the gym. And guess what? Well, let me take these off. I always leave my headphones on till I get home. But um, hair sack girl, the one, the sack her, she was in there. She was in the gym. <laughs> so as soon as I saw her, of course I spoke, but I just started laughing like to myself. I know she was like, what the fuck is wrong with her? But yes, she was in the gym. <laughs> and I had on my sack. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to head home. I'm not even hungry yet, but I'm going to head home, take a shower, and then pull out my book and start studying tomorrow. I'm going to try to take a test tomorrow, guys. I I might get nervous at the last minute and be like, whoop, 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 hold up. I'll do it next week. But um, if all goes according to plan, I will take my test tomorrow. And it's like boom, boom, boom. Week one took a test and passed. Week two take a test and passed. And I mean... We'll see. We'll see. Because tomorrow I might get on this vlog and be like, ah, I chickened out. I got this. You see this book? That means I'm home. I'm home. I made it home from the gym. Hey. All right. So I'm about to study. Oh, look at the book. I love this book. I see this book and it just makes me smile. Like, I can't believe, guys. Like, I'm actually in school for nail technology. I still can't believe it. Like, I still don't feel like this is real because... I've been in school, I want to say like almost all my life. Seriously, like almost all my life I've been in school. And, you know, just, just doing small degrees. I've done a CNA, medical assistant, LPN, RN, my BSN, my master's, and my doctorate. So all of that has taken a lot of time. But I did not think that I'd be going back and doing, you know, my nail technology. And, you know, with all the degrees that I have, I'm still excited about it and I'm still like happy to be back in school. And this time I'm doing something that I really, really like. Not saying that I don't like medical field, like don't get me wrong. I love it. It's rewarding, um, but it does not fulfill my creative side and I'm super, super creative. And this just gives me a chance to just be me, be my fun, crazy just wild self, you know, like you can really express yourself with this kind of profession. Whereas with nursing, they want you to be boring and the same and kind of cookie cutter. And I just do not fit that mold. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, just deep within myself, I just feel like stifled. Yeah, that's a, that's the perfect word for it. I just feel stifled. I feel like with nail technology, I have like a little bit more freedom to express myself so anyway long story short here I am and you know it is what it is so you're just gonna go section by section I'm not gonna review the whole book today guys hell no that would be crazy I will show you guys chapter one as a review and then how I plan to study for chapter two okay let me just jump to chapter one real quick 
And I'm going to show you guys how I studied for chapter one. This is how I studied for anything, like any course, anything. I study the same way. So in the book, it has like the learning objectives, right? So in this particular chapter, there's three learning objectives. And I am not going to read to you guys. I'm not going to read to you guys because you are adults, but I will zoom in and you can see everything that this chapter has to offer. Okay, and then they have here key terms. Now, this chapter did not have a lot of key terms, but it did have a lot of dates and people to remember. And oh, my God. Right. So the way I study, if you notice, there is a color highlight, a different color highlight, and then there's pen marks, right? So the way that I study is the first time I read the chapter, I use one color highlighter and I just go through the entire chapter and I just try to digest bits and pieces because you cannot digest the whole thing at one time, right? So all the green, all the green is what I try to digest the first read through. So we start with Egyptians and their contribution to the nail world, Chinese, Greeks, the Romans, you see that? Oh my God, it was just crazy. <laughs> Reading this chapter was crazy. <laughs> then, then we fast forward to the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the Victorian age, the 20th century, 1901 to 1919, and everything that happened in between. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, gosh, you just don't even know. I was like, what, what? <laughs> Over here, they break it down even more. See that? And then the 21st century, yada, yada, yada. All that was boring to me. What was exciting for me in this chapter was this, career paths for nail technicians because I just assumed that nail technicians, you were going to work in a nail salon or in some kind of day spa or something of that sort. I did not know that there was such thing as a medical nail technician or an advanced nail technician. When I read that chapter, oh my gosh, I was like, what? I can combine both my fields of expertise and and just combine them and, and work in that field. Oh my God, like my mind was blown. I was so excited about that. So basically a medical nail technician, you have to finish your first certification exam. Like that is the basics. Then you go on and you can take an additional certification, additional courses, and you have the opportunity to to work under a podiatrist or a physician or a medical spa, which I feel is so, so, so dope. Like Oh, that just really, really made my day. So I, so I had to circle that because that might be something that I'm interested in down the road, okay? Other things you can do, obviously, is become a salon manager and then different things like a salon educator. You could distribute um, things and sell them. All that is pretty much common sense. So nothing there. But two other things that I was interested in is becoming a manufacturer educator. So basically, if there's a product like, let's just say, for example, OPI, you could work for that product or that company and travel to different salons and educate those salons on your particular product. And I thought that was dope. I would absolutely love to do something like that. Um, and then obviously become a beauty school instructor because I used to teach. I was a nursing instructor at a community college here. Actually, it was a private college. But nonetheless, I used to teach nursing and I really, really liked it. So this would just be a pretty cool transition there. Um, you could also do things like film and editorial nail technicians. That's not for me. I feel like those people are too um, picky. And listen, honey, I ain't got time for that. You know, there's always going to be picky people. But I feel like these people are a like a special type of picky that I ain't got time for. But this part of the chapter was my favorite part of the chapter. Okay, and so that's it. Now it seems like, oh, oh, that wasn't bad. Um, Yeah, it was, okay. <laughs> so the green was everything that I highlighted my first read through, okay? Then I went back the next day and I read the chapter again 
And everything this time that I picked up or I wanted to digest or I wanted to focus on, I highlighted that in yellow. So different color for a different day to represent something else that I wanted to pick up on. So everything that I went back through, you see there, I did it in yellow, down here, some more different things in yellow, and so forth. They did that throughout the whole chapter, okay? So that was that. Then on day three, when I went back through the chapter again, I used a pen this time and I just further, you know, underlined, made little notes and things like that by things that I really, really wanted to focus on that I thought, dang, Nikki, like you, that seems like something would be on the test. Like you should definitely remember that. Um, so that's what I did there with the pen. There's also review questions in the back of the book. So this chapter, there's only three review questions. I did answer those questions, but they were so broad. Like, they were just so broad. Like, for example, number one, what are the origins of personal beautification? The origins? Are you kidding me? Okay. So the answer to that, you could find this entire page, this entire page, this entire page, this entire page and this entire page. Okay, so the questions I felt for number one were way too broad and I just didn't like how the questions were structured. Um, so for me personally, the questions that were at the back of the book for this chapter did not at all help me study for the test. So what I did is I went online and I went to... Um, was it Quizlet? I think it's Quizlet. I went to Quizlet and they had a bunch of just random questions and you know, I just selected just a random one um, and I just answered the questions. They have them set up like flashcards. So you click it, you answer the question, you flip over the flashcard and if you got it right, great. If you didn't, you just save it and then try to answer it again later. And pretty much that's what I did and I just answered as many questions as I could and I just did that over and over and over until boom, it stuck. And then I took the test and I passed it. So clearly I am going to do the same thing this time around, okay? So now let me show you guys chapter dos. Chapter two is fun. Chapter one was like, ugh. ugh. Chapter two, like it at all. life skills. Like when I read this chapter for the first time, it applied to everything. It did not just apply to nail technology. Like I was reading it to my friend and he said, wow, like I can't believe that's in the nail technology book. And I was like, yeah, like it, it was a dope chapter. Like it was really something everybody could apply to everything. So let's just go through. There are seven learning objectives. Let me just zoom in there to these learning objectives so that you could look. If you want, you could screenshot that. There you go. In addition, there were some key terms to remember, and there are more key terms in this chapter than the previous chapter. All right, so I did read the chapter one time, so there's only one color highlighter. I am going to read it again after I get off of this vlog, and then I will highlight in my second color, okay? So one of the things that I liked about this chapter was guidelines for success, Building self-esteem, visualizing success, building on your strengths, yada, yada, yada. Like all this stuff applies to everyday life. I thought that was so dope. Do you see that? Stay productive. Don't procrastinate. Don't be a perfectionist. Have a game plan. And then there's rules for success. Boom. Like every student, I feel like this should be a chapter in everybody's book. Really and truly. Over here, there's things to recognize and manage your stress. Then over here, there's a section on motivation and self-management. And pretty much you want to be able to motivate yourself. You do not want to have to depend on someone to motivate you because, honey, like when their motivation to motivate you is done and dry and depleted, then what are you going to do with yourself? You know what I mean? So be your own motivator. Try to be your own self-management team, your, your biggest coach, your biggest pusher, your biggest everything. Like try to depend on you as much as you can. Other people can help and will help, especially if you have a really good support system. But try your best to be your own motivator. And managing your career, making a mission statement, things like that. 
I really like that, making a mission statement. And I will make a mission. By the time this is all said and done, I will have my own mission statement. I swear I will. You want to make sure that you are setting goals. Obviously, I already talked about my goals. I have 12 of them, and I always make 12 every year, and I just try to do one a month for the most part. So I got that one in the bag. And then here is a little uh, section on time management. Uh, honey, we all need time management. Lord knows I do. Well, that brings us to over here, different study skills. And they're going to give you like different tips and tricks that you could study and establish good study habits. You want to know where to study, when to study, and how to study. This section focuses on ethics. And any profession where you're dealing with people you could be working at Walmart. It does not matter. You want to make sure you have really good ethics and morals and just really good principles. I mean, come on. That's just that's just everybody needs to have a good set of ethics and morals and things like that. So I'm glad they put that little that little blurb in there. Section is talking about personality development and attitude. If you're going to be doing something where you're serving someone and, and doing nails cosmetology, even nursing, you're serving someone. So you want to make sure you have the personality for that. You want to make sure you have the right attitude for that. So this this little section of the chapter just goes into how to hone in on those skills. So effective communication, sensitivity, and things like that. And these review questions, I feel, were a little bit better than the ones for the previous chapter. Like they were a little bit more specific and wasn't so broad. So what I did was I looked at the review questions. I wrote the page numbers to which you can find the answers. And then I took a piece of paper and I wrote all the answers on my paper and which I had to hand in to my teacher. So with that being said, if you were paying attention, you saw, you saw little stars, little blue stars. You see those stars? That was the answers to, here's another one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Boom. Boom, boom, right? Those were the answers to the study question. So I wrote the page numbers here. I put a star by it in the chapter so that my mind is either going to remember page 16 or it's gonna remember where the star was like, I have to create different things to make word and visualizations and associations in my head. So when I take the test, I will just remember, oh, that star, by that star, it said X, Y, Z, and boom, boom, boom. Test in the bag, honey. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take my purple highlighter and go back through this chapter, read it again, and this time highlight my new things that I find with purple, okay? And then once I'm done that, I'm gonna take a break, take a snack, do something, stretch, I don't know. Um, and then I'm going to go on Quizlet, find some questions, practice, study. If I get them right, great. If I get them wrong, take this pink pen and find it in the book and circle it, put a star by it, underline it, something so that I don't forget it again. You know what I mean? So. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna be up all night, but I have insomnia and I'll probably be up all night any dang on way. Chapter so, one was super boring. Chapter two, kind of boring as well, but I think it was a much needed chapter. <sighs> as I get to the fun stuff in the back of the book, these kind of reviews and stuff like that would be a lot more fun. And what I'm hoping for is that there's actually things that I can do. For example, They'll teach me something in the book and tell me how to do it step by step. And then I could actually do it for you guys. So I could read it in the chapter and then I could do it or act it out. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. You know what I mean? Like, like here, for example, performing a basic pedicure. So I could read it, go through all the steps. And then actually have somebody here that I can do a pedicure on exactly the way the book wants you to do it, you know? And that's a little bit more fun. But when there's boring chapters like history and life skills, there's nothing for me to act out. So I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. But a lot of you guys have been asking for a book review. 
You guys have been hitting me up on, on IG and on Facebook and asking for me to go through the book. So, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But anyway, that is it for now. That is it. Whew, I'm going to be up all night. Wish me luck. Tomorrow I will check in and let you guys know how the test went. Wish me luck, guys. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Boom. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hi, Nail Crew. Hi, Nail Crew. We need a secret handshake. We need a secret handshake. I'll come up with something. It'd be something stupid, but something that you could do through the screen, like. <laughs> so whenever you watch my video, you could do that. <laughs> and people around you would be like, um, what the hell? <laughs> Especially like I have some people that watch the videos with their husbands. If you two are watching, hi! Um, <laughs> if your husband catches you doing that, <laughs> or if you catch him doing that, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny. Anyway, I'm on my way to school. I am on my way to school, and I'm trying not to let the nerves consume me because today is the day that I'm going to try to take this test. So I studied last night, I went through with my purple highlighter and then I went on Quizlet and found some random questions. So the thing with Quizlet guys, if you use Quizlet to study, you don't know who's putting the questions on online, you don't know where they're getting the answers from, you don't know if the answers are going to align with what your teacher feels is correct. So be careful when you use like those online like kind of study tools. But the way that I use it or the way that I do it is I read the chapter first, I study the questions that's on Quizlet, um, but then the answer that they say is right, I go back to the book and double check and make sure, okay, yes, that is right, that is what the book said, yada, yada, yada. Especially if I pick an answer and Quizlet tells me that the answer that I got was wrong, then I really go back to the book and make sure that I was in fact wrong and they were in fact right. So that's how I do it, and I recommend that, you know, if you guys are using Quizlet to study from, that you do that as well. There's not a lot of questions on Quizlet, um, but it is something. It is something to get you into to study mode, answering question mode, and I like it. it, it I mean, it's helping me, so I'm just going to continue to use it. But anyway, whew, I'm trying not to, like, overthink things, because that's my problem. That's my problem. I am an overthinker. I'm an overthinker. So I'm trying not to overthink. I'm just trying to like, whoo, relax, get to school, just take my test and go to work. I'm just talking because I'm nervous. I'm just trying to talk out my anxiety. Okay, let's talk about something. Let me talk to you guys about something else. My, oh, it's hot. My seats is too hot, y'all. Like, what? You do not have to burn my behind. So I have a question for you guys. And I want you to just, you know, drop the, the answer below. One, after looking at the chapter yesterday that I was showing you guys, like, the different ideas and areas that you could work after getting your nail tech license, what would you guys like to do? Do you want to work in a traditional setting like, you know, normal nail salon or even work from home, would you rather get an extra certificate and be a medical nail tech or an advanced nail tech and work like in a podiatry office or a medical setting? Would you rather be a, an instructor, teach like the nail course? Would you rather work with the distributors and educate different salons and schools about their products there was other ones on there but those are the ones that really caught me because those are like more of the avenues that I would dive into but let me know out of those like rewind go back <laughs> rewind and look at that page and like freeze frame it in your mind and then answer the question below let me know what you guys are interested in when you finish school and I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I want to know, are you guys thinking like me? Like you want to go the medical route? Especially, yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of you guys are nurses already. Shout out to my nurses. Some of you guys are already nurses. So that would be a good fit for you. Did you know that there was a thing like that? I had no idea. I had no idea that there were medical nail techs. Like I did not know. 
leave me a comment. What do you want to do when you finish getting your license? What do you want to do? I'm curious. I'm curious, but I'm also nosy. I want to know what my nail crew want to do with their life. Okay? Shoot! I'm almost 40 and I'm refiguring some things out. <laughs> You're never too old, people. You're never too old. It is what it is. You're never too old. Alright, guys. I'm getting closer to school. <laughs> I'm getting closer to the school. My heart is racing right now. Shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! My heart is racing so bad. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm here. And I'm early. I think I'm here. I don't. I don't think the teacher's here yet. So this gives me like a little opportunity to sit in the car and read a little. Just, just do a little, little, little quick review. So my book is in trunk. I'm about to go get my book, sit here, and like just digest the chapter a little bit more before I take the test. Now this test, this chapter was su such an easy read to me that I should not be nervous. But you know what? Sometimes you can know one plus one is two, but your nerves will tell you that it's 17. <laughs> and then you messed up. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm back to tell y'all how the day went. How the test went. I don't know how to tell y'all this. I don't know how to say it. Check the test. It was longer than I thought. In my mind, I thought it was going to be, I don't know what, 20 questions? Because how many questions did you really put together about life skills? But it was way longer than that. It was a long, it was it was long. Um, woo! But I did good. I got a 93. I got three wrong. The ones that I got wrong, I'm not going to like recite the questions and stuff because I don't know, somebody might say I'm trying to cheat. So um, I'm not gonna recite the questions, but that the ones that I got wrong, I'm trying to get my chapstick. Everybody loves them some EOS, child. Yes. The ones I got wrong though wasn't anything that you could find in the book. And it was definitely, I mean, I got it, I passed. So I'm not saying change my score or anything. But I just didn't like the way those particular questions were worded and the answer choices. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I did get three wrong. And it is what it is. Yo. Test one, down. Test two, down. I'm about to study for test three. I already kind of glimpsed at chapter three. And chapter three is not very long. It's a very short chapter. And I feel like I'll be fine on chapter three. So, we'll see. But I just had to get up on here and share that with you guys. Like, huh? Yeah, them late night study sessions really, really work for me. So, right now, I am on my way to work. I don't want to go to work. I would have rather stayed in school for a couple more hours, to be honest. I am not trying to go to work right now. But, you know, such is life. One day, I will have... The perfect job in which I will be so happy to go to work every day. I can't wait. I can't wait. Gotta go, peeps. Gotta go. Pray for me that I have a good day at work. I got a good grade on my test. I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? My curls is popping. My face is popping. Ain't no breakouts, honey. Ain't nothing still on my joy today. All right, guys, that's it. That is it. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Slide all up in my DMs and tell me what's good. I have two Instagrams, so don't forget. I have two Instagrams, one for my everyday life and my workout stuff, Fit Chick Nikki P, but my nail channel or my nail 
Instagram is Nailed by Nikki P. Okay, I also have Facebook and I have what's the one with the ghost? What is the ghost? Snapchat. I also have. I also have Snapchat. Both of those are Fit Chit Nikki P. So follow me and just get to know me better. I mean, yeah, let's be friends. <laughs> I'm also going to put two videos on the screen for you guys to watch and click next. So enjoy the ride, okay? I said that because I'm in the car. The ride. Enjoy the ride. Get it? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>